This is Joey, my brother. Besides being my brother, he is also a TV presenter here in the Netherlands and recently he got second place for best national non-commercial TV show with his TV show Farm Boys. Together with his friend Ramiro, he visits local farms and talks with farmers about their jobs and helps them out during the full process of creating the end product. It is fair to say Joey is more conscious of the way our food is being produced and what is going on in the farming industry than most people are today. I invited him to come over and watch Earthlings together with me and I'm curious to see if this will change his perspective in any way. Hi, this is uh, Joey, the big brother of Randy, who is vegan for maybe three to four months and uh, he's actually loving it. He's also loving it to show people how delicious uh, vegan food can be. I already knew that because he's an excellent cook and I tried many things. Uh, I'm a little bit in a rush because I didn't do my hair, didn't brush my teeth, but I'm finally here. And um, the exciting thing for me is we are watching a documentary um, and it's pretty intense because he doesn't want to watch alone. So maybe we cry together on the couch about uh, how disgusting meat is. I actually love meat. You can buy your meat over here, so that's, that's pretty funny. Um, well, I actually love meat. I am uh, uh, three days in a week. I try to be, uh, no, I'm not trying to be a vegetarian, of course, but I try to eat vegetarian. Um, for the world, well, I don't know about that, but um, for, why do I eat vegetarian? Because it's, I am convinced, more than convinced that is, that it's way healthier for your body. Because I, I just love, I just love meat and I can't help it, but it's also really hard to be a, a vegan, vegan boy. Well, we'll see. Let's go to Randy. Actually, I went to, uh, to a chicken farmer. He thought it was the most normal situation there, but there were a lot of chickens. And he said, yeah, the, 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 all the chickens, they are, they are uh, well, they can run, <laughs> but, well, it was a very, very short run, maybe a meter. Uh, I thought pretty sad, but most people love chicken, not as that they love chicken, but they love to eat chicken. So do I, a little bit less, but so do I. An egg in the morning, that's that's great. Maybe it's a little bit harsh, but I don't feel kind of sad while eating it. I don't eat any pork, and that's not because the pig is really smart, but well, I don't like the meat that much. Most of the time, chicken or a cow, and actually, I really, really like it. But I also know it's not, not really super, <laughs> it's not a super food or something. That's actually quite funny because you don't have to be a vegetarian, you don't have to be a vegan boy or girl. Everybody loves animals. Everyone. Except sometimes you don't like a spider, you don't like an ant or something that's flying around your head when you're asleep. But you like your dog, right? And you like your cat and you don't want to eat them. When I see a cow, and it's not my own cow so I don't have any feelings, I don't really, really mind that much. But as I told you about the chickens, yeah, I, of course I think about it. And then I think, well, it's good that I eat uh, vegetarian uh, three times a week. Is there a humane way to kill people? To kill a person? Guess not, so that's my answer. About this topic, I guess that I do exactly the same as all the people. Because I am totally aware of the food industry and how poor and how bad some things are. I guess I just do this. Because, well, just a selfish way. I like it, so why not eat it? I eat it less, I'm helping to create a little bit of a better world. But for me, it's not about a better world. For me, it's also really selfish about me because it's 
way healthier not to eat it. You say life of someone else, I hear are eating an animal and then I don't mind because I don't see an animal as a life of someone else, but it is, but I don't see it that way because I'm not connected to that animal. Three primary life forces exist on this planet. Nature Animals And humankind We are the Earthlings Make the connection. Earthlings. Even though the topic is really sad, it was a great experience to uh, had this experience and watch Earthlings with my brother Randy. Uh, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, not because of the harsh images, but more because well you are questioning yourself me about the industry about about everything i still love it for the record the documentary makes me fully aware i know after visiting some farms that uh, in holland it isn't all that bad but still it's it's a part of the world so those people are earthlings too uh, but still you are eating an animal with feelings and um, I think um, not everyone uh, everyone should be after seeing earthlings uh, should be a vegetarian all of a sudden or uh, but they should be aware of what they eat so they can make their own decisions after seeing that because if you are eating more meat after seeing it or eating less meat or being a vegetarian or or a vegan boy as my brother um, well, then you are doing it with full awareness. I wrote down two sentences I really liked. People like to think that the meat they buy is from an animal who died without pain. And that's, that's true and funny to see because when you talk about it or you hear other people talk about it, uh, then they say, yeah, don't ruin my dinner, please don't ruin my dinner. So that's really uh, fun to see. And, and the second sentence was, if we have to slaughter our own meat, uh, we all would be vegetarians. What is a little bit 
hypocrite thing. Um, but it changed my perspective a bit and um, yeah, like I said, I was a little bit aware and, uh, and I still am. After watching Earthlings with my brother over here, we've decided we're going to make this a three-part series. So now we watched Earthlings, next up we're going to watch Cowspiracy and a third we're going to watch Forks Over Knives. So uh, are you prepared? I was born ready. So it should so it actually is a, a, a trilogy. It's a trilogy. Road to veganism. <laughs> there we go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe.